ignore it, avoid it. Here's me, ignoring it, avoiding it, thanking God someone didn't launch any at me, thanking God her email was more positive this time, avoiding talking to someone so I'm not expected to complain along with them, not wanting to deal with a problem so I don't have to be confronted by negativity. You name it. I do it. I avoid negativity. Many of you do too. I still have my bouts of it, but otherwise I avoid it like the plague. I've been watching videos on the RA books, Law of One, and they speak of negativity in a rather matter-of-fact way. And that is that people get to choose their orientation, whether it's positive or negative, but negativity cannot ascend any higher than early 6D, which makes sense because I've been told that 6D is the dimension that dispenses with the need for a physical body. So at that point, the soul has to convert and become a positive polarity otherwise stay at 6D for an eternity, not being able to heed the inner call to ascend like many of us feel. Yes, on this planet the negatives have done what the law of one states that they do, control, manipulate and fear, and because of this interference in our free will, i.e. we don't have the ability to choose any more which orientation we want, so now intervention is necessary. To some extent, folks, only to the extent that our free will is available to us again, it always was but the cards were so stacked against it, but now we'll be expected to use it. Choice will be restored to the earthling. We get to pick the polarity we want to ascend by again. And, we get to ascend, because of course now the negatives upon this planet are trying to keep earthlings at their level and not allow them to ascend. That's the interference. People are stuck here in third density, which the law of one states clearly is the shortest density because it's so unpleasant and requires suffering in order to make one's choice. Like we keep saying, everything is love. You have to be able to see it in action. I see today's current events as a means of doing that. Which polarity and which dimension you want to align with you get to pick, you pick your orientation, positive or negative, and we all can venture a guess as to which president represents which. It makes sense to me. The GFL is removing all the negative factions that have been dominating this planet and will be resetting our ability to choose. The only thing we won't be able to choose is violence as they'll be installing a grid at some point that will prohibit our use of aggression with others, so this in itself will facilitate the ascension process. Imagine, we'll have to talk it out rather than violate another person. No more violating others' free will, at least to this extent. I think some of this has to do with the fact that we have a habit of bombing each other and using nuclear technology to that end as well. This is to protect the rest of the universe from us. The fact is, this is a dual polarity planet in a dual polarity dimension. Negative people have every right to be negative because that's the polarity they've chosen to ascend by. You don't have to want them around you, however. I think what we'll see here is so many people who have been mind controlled into being negative turn positive and start ascending through the positive polarity. The negatives will just continue to be themselves. So for those of you who think that the fifth dimension is all sweetness and light, guess again. The grumpy gusses can ascend as high as the lower sixth dimension, presumably on earth as well. You just have to learn to love them and stop letting them negatively affect you. I know not always easy especially when you're empathic. But they're there to teach you if you'll learn from them. People violate others' free will all the time, without even realizing it, as my list of 365 useless behaviors that show you're disempowered will make obvious to you, however there are those of us who are evolved enough to realize that this is happening and who stop others from doing it. What the law of one explains is that you gain in your polarity all the time. If it's a positive polarity you're seeking to ascend through, those who are negative who would impinge upon your free will through controlling tactics, can reduce your polarity, if you allow them to. That's what happened to me as a child, being of 8th density consciousness, not 8th dimension, I'm not even from this universe, I was of extremely positive density however my parents were not and they taught me to be like them until I could change that negativity, which I'm still doing now in order to realize myself as I truly am, not my false self. 
Most of you would say that negative people serve no purpose and this world should be rid of them, but that's not true, they do serve a purpose, they are the driving force for our ascension because without it, we would be happy at 3D level. They give us the opportunity to be more positive, they give us the opportunity to understand who they are and what they're doing and to empower ourselves against it. They are necessary in duality. However, as Ivo has stated, the amount of negativity on Earth now, and the overtake of the planet and removal of the free will of Earthlings is negativity going overboard and this has to be reset to allow for the free will of all, positive and negative. I hear people over and over commenting these days about being attacked and telling these attackers to grow up. Heard that one last night. I think perhaps more understanding has to be developed about the role these people play in our lives. However I can say too, that when you don't need them anymore, when you've learned the lesson, having these little piranhas around sniping at you gets old. And I said in another video to leave 3D alone. The timelines are splitting out. In fact you can see where they're developing, I can anyway. Those who believe in the lying president are on the lower timelines. Sometimes they're there because they hate the true POTUS. Those who are on the 4D timelines are lovers of the POTUS who has been working to Mega. Then there are ones who may think this is interesting and all, but your true president is yourself. You're your own leader and you have been through millions of years. God empowered you to lead yourself. The unfortunate part of this shit show is that deception is necessary for both parties. I heard a general lying the other day and I knew right away he couldn't tell the truth, it's not that he didn't want to. So we have to figure out which are the necessary lies and which are the malevolent lies. What a planet. You have to lie to get your people up to a higher vibration. Oy vey. Ivo, if controlling and manipulating are the hallmarks of the negative polarity, then why are you intervening for our sakes here? I'm not saying to stop, I'm just asking what went wrong that the GFL has to intervene for us. Ivo, in fact, my love, controlling and manipulating are hallmarks of the negative polarity. That is how they express themselves, through the power over others, service to self-behaviors. However, many of the positive polarity have been living on Earth, reincarnating over and over again into an environment that is dominated by negativity so that there was no chance for them to choose which they wished to be, positive or negative orientation. They were automatically forced to be negative. Me, but that's the way the negatives are, they control. They've done exactly what they are created to do. Ivo, yes, and now it has gone too far. They have impinged upon the free will of others, of all actually, even their own, and have set up a planet that acts out their own dominating mindset. Me, yes, that's why I worry about the attempts made to free the people, because these attempts are still about domination through war. Ivo, they did not start it, my love. Me, true. And because that's the system right now they have to play the game the way it is. Or do they? Ivo, no. There is higher light coming using more metaphysical techniques to change this planet. Those plasma webs that Gina Calvin Hill is seeing, for example is not the web plasma giving birth to dark matter, it is web plasma absorbing dark matter. Me, it did look like it was coming out from underneath the web plasma and being released. Ivo, it was being absorbed by the web plasma, transmuted as it were. You believe it was giving birth to this dark matter but in fact it was transmuting it. Me, okay, and thank you for not calling it my planet. I don't feel so responsible when you do. Ivo, you are welcome, my love. Me, my point is, if it's the nature of the negative polarity to be dominating, controlling, and manipulative, then what's wrong with this planet? You're expecting a negative polarity entity to act like a prima donna? It's in their nature to create what we have here. Ivo, yes, it is. However, it is in the nature of the positive polarity not to be submissive, controlled and manipulated, yet you see this happening all the time. They are not acting according to their true nature, although the dark ones are. There is imbalance. The balance must be reset. 
the positive polarity must be re-strengthened on your planet and people then will be given the opportunity to choose how they wish to ascend, because they will be able to ascend. Me, there are so many things going through my mind when you're talking, and I can't convey them to the audience because I can't remember them. Ivo, I say only what needs to be expressed. There is much that I think of and you hear this, however, what I say is what needs to be said. Me, true. So we're enacting a process of strengthening the positive polarity. Ivo, yes, within yourselves and within Gaia. And lessening the negative polarity. Me, now this book says that the negative polarity has to have a grade of 95% bad in order to ascend to the next consciousness level. But for the positive polarity the passing grade is 51%, which you have told me. I can be grouchy 49% of the time and still ascend to the next level of consciousness. But I think I've gone past that. Ivo, your body is holding you back. Me, yup. That's why they polluted us, of course. With a body that works 24-7 ascension would be assured. So if the dark ones have to have a 95% passing grade and the light ones have to have a 51% passing grade, does that mean the dark and light is evenly distributed on this planet, or does it default to mostly light? Ivo, yes it is balanced. There is 50% negative and 50% positive on a third dimensional planet. That is why third dimensional planets are so highly visited by light beings, and there are those upon them who learn the service to others orientation living on these planets. Which will lead to their ascension. However, on earth, so many people have been disempowered for so long, they cannot help others who are struggling. It would be a completely different scenario if in fact the light and the dark, the positive and the negative were balanced but of course it is not right now. We must remove those who are impeding the natural process. Me, thanks Ivo. Ivo, my love, you are most welcome. I wish you a fine day. Me, will you stop it? He's speaking in code. Ivo, would you have me say what I am really thinking then? Me, I know what you're thinking, but I doubt the listeners would. LOL.